Hey yo, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shebang Beats. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. It really, really, really helps the channel. And I appreciate you. And we are growing and we are glowing together. Thank you for all the new subscribers. To everyone that has subscribed, I appreciate you. Now tell a friend, because we all friends over here. Hey, friend. Hey, bitch. In today's video, we're just going to be making a nice hard beat. I'm going to be making it from scratch. And I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's get into the video. All right, we have our screen record going. We are in Logic. I have a couple instruments pulled up. And you know, I'm usually not a, um, a click-in person. I usually just prefer to to play everything. But today we're gonna be doing some clicking in, you know, for my people. And this is what we're working with. Fairy tale bells. And I miss fear, by the way. Our tempo is set at 150. I'm not sure what key I wanna be in yet, but I'm thinking maybe E minor, create MIDI region, bong. Now we're gonna go to our piano. Okay, let's get some chords in here. So we're gonna start with the, uh oh, we're gonna start with the E minor chord. E, G, B. We're gonna drag that out. Repeat that. I throw this G up. Uh -oh. And then what I want to do is I want to turn these chords down some. And then I want to randomize the velocity on the melody. Random velocity. 89 to. Okay, we're going to turn these back down. Bomb. Bomb. We're keeping it simple. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this, duplicate it, drag this down, convert or bounce this in place so it creates an audio instrument. And what we're gonna do is add some halftime to that. Halftime, halftime. One of the quickest ways to create a counter melody is to just bounce your original melody and halftime it. So, but what I wanna do is I wanna add some, some effects on there just to make it different. Some fracture on there. I'm also gonna add some. I'm trying to. I'm trying to decide if I want to add some effectrix to the original version or the bounced out version. There we go. And also, I might move this down the octave. Take some of that, take that bottom end off in the EQ. Then we're just gonna add some chords on top of here. E, G, B. Take that E, I mean that G, and throw it up there. F sharp, C, and E. I 
I might change that sound. Give me a second. See, let's, let's find some strings. Hum. String, 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 strings. Okay, let's try this. We're going to use the strings as like a little pre chorus. So we're going to try this. You know what? I actually want to add some retro, some RC uh, RC twenty on here, on the strings. Okay, I got an RC twenty on there. We're going to get our drum going. We're going to turn this to 32 step and to eighth notes. Okay. Copy that, but we're going to change them. Then we're going to add this. I'm just click copying that down, that off. delay on down a little bit and as you can hear kind of the echo bounces back and forth it kind of gives that hunting feel <gasps> gonna change the velocities in here because I'm just going to do all that. 
convert to MIDI, go to my hi-hats, bong, select all of them, and we're going to go to function, MIDI transform, random velocity. We're going to go from 127 to 46. It's a big leap, but it's okay. They move that down. And then of course we're gonna add, you know, some effectors, nothing too much, too major. Got that. And I'm also gonna add some pan on here. Eh. fourth notes and then we're going to change the pattern up on the second half a little bit so this is what we're going to do all we got to do is spread that out and change the second half add our 808 we're going to make sure it's in tune go to tuner i'm pressing e and it says g sharp so we're going to go here we're gonna turn this till it says E. Now we're in key. That's all we do. Uh oh. I was off key right there, bye. So that's basically the end of the beat. I'm gonna add like some risers or something in the crash. But otherwise, other than that, that's the end of the beat. Of course, I'm gonna add my tag. So if you all enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you didn't enjoy it, hit the subscribe button and the like button. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you ain't got no choice. No, but seriously, it really helps the channel grow and we're growing and glowing together. Also make sure you all follow my social media, which will be on the screen and in the description down below. Leave me a comment on what you thought about the process or what you thought. Should I do more stuff like this? Make it to be in front of you guys? Or do you like the walkthrough? Or both? What else? Let me know. So until next time, I am SheBank and I am out of here.